Yeah. Hey. Good morning. Actually, this video comes out at four o'clock, so good afternoon. I hope you're all right, and I hope things have been good. Delayed gratification. What? What is delayed gratification? Anyone who, maybe you, who's been watching self-improvement videos, you've been seeing a lot of motivational videos, you might already know what delayed gratification and instant gratification is, but I literally mentioned it to someone that I met like a few days ago, talking about delayed gratification, and they had no idea what I was talking about. I forget that because I've been on self-improvement for nearly two years, that I, it's like second nature to me, but to a lot of people, they still don't know what delayed gratification or instant gratification is. And when they do, they hear so many benefits to delayed, but they're not really sure what it is and why it's good for them, and if it's even worth it. Stick to the end of the video because I'm going to basically explain it completely, the benefits of it, what it is, and it versus instant gratification. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Delayed gratification is basically doing something that's hard now, but you get a great deal of satisfaction and dopamine afterwards you've done it. However, instant gratification is the complete opposite. So it's where you can do something now, which gives you a boost of dopamine and satisfaction now, but then afterwards, your baseline of dopamine gets, gets much, much worse than what it was before. So basically, long story short, delayed gratification, doing something hard now but makes you feel better afterwards, and then instant gratification is doing something easy that makes you feel good now, but makes you feel worse afterwards. And you can already start to see why delayed gratification is so much better for you. If you think about it, someone who practices in delayed gratification versus someone who practices in instant gratification, a delayed gratification person's life would be someone who's going to the gym, who's cooking his own meals. Oh my god, a bunny! Sorry, I got distracted, a bunny just ran past. Someone who practices in delayed gratification would be doing things such as going to the gym, cooking his own meals, driving that extra 30 minutes just to go spend a little bit more time in nature in a new set of woods he's never been to. Someone who meditates and does gratitude journaling every single day because he knows in two weeks' time, or in two years' time, that that's going to become one of the best habits ever he's ever built. And then you've got someone who practices in instant gratification. This is someone who doesn't go to the gym. When he has the urge to fulfill this loneliness and sadness he has, he'll either go onto video games to fulfill that now, or he'll go onto the hub. Someone who stays in his room, who eats junk food because he can't be asked to cook. You see, this person who can't be asked to cook for himself with single ingredient meals. When he eats junk food, yeah, he gets it quick now and it tastes good, but then he'll feel worse afterwards. And he knows it's because you're not eating a proper meal. You've probably been on video games for hours upon hours because I used to a lot all the time. I'd get home and I'd be on video games until like 6 p.m. until like two in the morning. And then afterwards, I wouldn't feel good. I had a fun time whilst I was gaming, but then after I'd feel tired, I'd feel worse, and I'd feel tired in the morning. And I never ever went to the gym, but, well, I didn't need to, even though I was pretty much ashamed of what I looked like, physically. Whereas the guy who's going to the gym because he wants to see benefits in the long run, who cooks his own meals with non-processed foods, even though it takes a bit longer to cook food, he has a very healthy meal afterwards, and he feels better afterwards, and he goes out in nature. Yes, he's going out looking for a new place every day just to spend 30 minutes more time in nature, but he feels so much better, and that makes his day so much better. Is delayed gratification worth it? Yes. It 100% is. It 100% is. It makes you feel better afterwards. Why wouldn't you do it? Because it's hard. It is hard to do delayed stuff, stuff that's delayed gratification, and it's easy to give in into instant gratification. That's why so many of us do it, including myself. I used to give in a lot. I had that sort of where I'd depressing life where I'd be on video games and just to spice things up, I'd go out and drink and party. We all give in to instant gratification because it's easy. But you're watching this video now, and if you stay to the end of this, congrats, because this video was made to be boring, which means you've just helped 
increase and improve your attention span. You've just practiced in a little bit of a delayed gratification. If you clicked on this video and you stuck to the end this far means you do want to change. You want to change something. I can recommend just by start going to the gym three times a week. That's not much. Going, just spending that little bit more time in nature and then just trying to eat non-processed foods. So meals that aren't like junk food. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you're already subscribed, another video will pop in the corner. And if this video helped you out, you should 100% click on this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. <laughs>